Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Bobby's Backyard. We got a new build today. Can you guess what it is from behind me? Yep. Mini Cooper S. So, yes, 2011 with 137,000 miles. And I bought it as a non-runner. Listed as a non-runner also. Let's get into this. And it's pretty clean. You got hit in the front. That was the damage, front end damage. It's got brand new tires all the way around. They just, funny story, the person that bought it only drove it 500 miles and crashed it. So they didn't even enjoy it. It's got a little dent right here. Uh, other than that, it's pretty clean. It's got a slight little dent right here. I'm gonna see if I can PDR that. And here is the damage. It's not bad. Uh, hood, headlight. I uh, did get the reinforcement bar right here, and it did crash the reinforcement bar, so I'm going to grab that. Didn't get the uh, mainframe, it just did its job. The extension did its job, so get one of those, and you also get one of these. It's all one piece. As you can see, this one got destroyed. I got lucky on the cooler. Didn't even touch the cooler. I uh, need a new uh, brake duct windshield washer fluid i'll probably get both flares yeah this one's trashed okay so i'll get both flares uh like i said the headlight hood might get a fender i might save it i don't know uh the grill is still good so that's cool and yeah like you said like i said it's not that bad like i said brand new tires all the way around Let's take a look on the inside does have that panoramic roof or whatever you call it dual sunroof this is the top of the line this has the infotainment system with the navigation the big screen not the little teeny tiny one it's got heated seats I mean this thing's got everything man cruise control everything there's the rpm gauge it's got the Harman Kardon system which is not working right now so I'm trying to figure that out Interior's not ripped, clean. Here's the back. Dirty back here, looks like there was an animal or there's mold. Oh, no, there's mold growing. Shit. Got me a free tool. Sweet. What's this? Ah, little stick em. Oh man, all right. I'm gonna end up taking the seats out. Oh yeah, wow. Yep, there's the mold. Oof. All right, yeah, I'm gonna wash this up, clean it up inside real quick. Damn, mold. All right. The usual, all the minis, this doesn't work. But it does pop with the, uh, it does pop with the uh, remote, so that's good. I always thought these came off, but it's just the cover. Wow, all right. Here's the driver's side. Like I said, it's got 137,000 miles on it. Yep. It's clean. I like it. All right. Let's see here. Got the good old hockey puck key. Let's. And I just got it today. So let's check it out. It runs, my brother, and runs smooth. See, radio, nothing. I think I know what it is, but like I said, nah, I'm not concerned about that right now. I want to get the front end fixed. But yeah, that thing purrs. It's got the little dual tips in the back. on these damn things where are there it is and this is the n18 motor i think the n18 this is a good motor you don't want the n16 i think or something i forgot there's an there's an engine that's not that great this one is the good one the n18 and n12 is another good one unless this is an se i don't know but there's no emission stickers as you could tell this was in a slight front end hit I think before but yeah purse non runner huh all 
All right, so let's go ahead and wash her up and see what she looks like. And there we have it, all washed up and cleaned. Just the outside, I haven't done anything on the inside, but yeah, this paint, not too bad. Looks good washed. Thing was filthy. Yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm liking it more and more. Wife loves it. Hell yeah, man. I can't wait to get the new parts in a couple of days. To take this thing for a stroll. I mean, I can right now, but nah. I don't want the flares to fly off or anything. I'll wait. I'll wait. All right, man. Until tomorrow, we'll clean out the inside, vacuum it out, see if we can get rid of that mold. Okay, so until tomorrow, we'll see ya. Welcome back. Another day here on the Mini. Finally got some parts today. I know in the last clip we just washed it up and we were gonna do the interior, but I'm gonna hold off on that real quick. Cause I went to the junkyard, I found a Mini Cooper. It was complete, but when I got there, mostly everything was gone, but I was able to get a hood, the fender flares, crash bar not the right crash bar and it's a little bent but I'm just going to bend it back it's thin metal where it bent not the main section that's bent so that's the main right here so all this is all bent right here this one's perfect so it's just this flimsy metal piece down here that holds the washer bottle fluid that's all it does and hold the uh, the intercooler that's it that's all it does so and then I got a washer bottle. That was hard to find because yeah, my headlights have windshield washer fluid cleaners. Yeah, they clean the headlights. So it's got dual dual pumps. So I had to get that. That was hard to find at the damn junkyard. Fender liner. This one's ripped right here. So I got another fender liner for this. So what we're gonna do today is put the hood on. And yes, I know, I got a hood that does not have a scoop. Who cares about the damn scoop? It's even better. Be a sleeper. People won't think it's an S. Even better. It's hard to find the S hoods. And they're non-functional. Anyways, from 06 and up or 07, something like that. They're non-functional. All it is is a hole. What this for was on the earlier models was for the intercooler to get cold air. Well, they went to turbocharge. And they went to a uh, cooler down here. Useless. So I don't care. So what I'm going to do is when I paint that hood, I'm going to paint white stripes. That'll uh, distract anybody from like, ah, it doesn't have the... Yeah. So I'm going to do that. So let's put on the hood, crash bar, and the fender flares. I doubt if I time lapse this. Like I said, this is a quick, 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 quick build. The only thing I couldn't find was the headlight and the bumper. I might have to get that at a different place. Oh man, trying to put a non-S hood on an S car. That was tough. But this is the best I can do on the gap. I got a, I think I need a uh, hood hinge, so I'm gonna get some hood hinges. But yeah, check that out. It's perfect. Just need to put the new clips and the new fenders and everything but yeah look at this side again like I said I'm just gonna get hood hinges fix that but it's coming along I already put the washer bottle in I already stapled everything in here it's sturdy it's not going anywhere and I also did it down here for the washer bottle it's not going anywhere so yeah those staples were good did it all along here. Like I said, I'm pulling, I'm tugging on it pretty hard. So it's non-structural. It's just to hold the headlight and the washer bottle and stuff like that. And hold the fender in place. That's all it's for, guys. All right. So on to the next thing. Uh, just got to get a bumper and a headlight. All right, guys. Another day here on the Mini where we left off and there goes my phone always interrupting when I'm filming gosh all right last one uh, when we left off I didn't have a front bumper now I do I didn't have a headlight now I do I got that 
got this off of eBay uh, for 70 bucks because it came in and broken that's all right I fixed it and then uh, the bumper I got locally off a of marketplace 100 bucks man I couldn't pass it up and he gave me the grill for free I like it because chrome matches everything else everything else is chrome on it so I got that but what we're gonna do today is try to get rid of this mold in the back it's everywhere kind of i'm gonna do a quick detail on it my allergies are kicking my butt but yeah um i'm gonna wrap it i'm not gonna paint it i'm wrapping it for reals i'll show um, i'll film that but i'm also giving it to my wife for mother's day gift so she can go back and forth to work with the wrap i'll show you the wrap in a little bit it's gonna be a surprise so yeah and it's a black car best car to wrap a black car all right so let's get into the interior see if we can get rid of some of that mold because it stinks in there and i don't think the i don't think the sunroof leaks i opened it and all the gutters are clean so um i did notice when they were taking pictures at copart windows were down doors were open so a lot of water probably got in and whatnot but yeah let's get into it guys this is worse than i thought look at that that's a lot of fuzz growing shysters but yeah i'm gonna vacuum it up i'm gonna put a mask on i do not have one on right now look at that spores in there over here under there i'm taking out the back seat what the hell happened they must have left a wind sunroof open or something man wow over here see same crap wow all right what the heck is this i'm gonna take the cover off see what it's in that here. is nice and clean i might do it again tomorrow it's getting dark but phew, way better than it was man dang Especially the back seats. There's no more mold. Actually, that mold was coming from there was so much coffee that it was, yeah, growing mold from the coffee. But now that I fixed the sunroof, there was one clogged drain on this side, so I unclogged it. These are free and clear. These drains out of the four, three of them were. So I think that's why I got flooded from the last rain. So it shouldn't shouldn't have no problems anymore now. Let's go to the other side. Here's the driver, looking good. I still gotta wipe it down with some VLR, that's that Meguiar's or something like that. Uh, leather vinyl cleaner and plastic. Heck yeah, clean the steering wheel up, everything. All in here was pretty nasty. That was pretty nasty all around us. I had to blow it out. There was so much stuff in the cracks and everything. Heck yeah. I'm loving it. And it smells good in here. It smelled like, ooh, musty. All right. Welcome back. Another day here. And today is the day where I am going to wrap the Mini Cooper. Yep, finally. Got the uh, antenna off, got the rear wing off, got all the letters off. I still got to scrape off the glue. Took off the uh, license plate light, license plate rings around the uh, tail lights. Took those out. Makes it a lot easier to wrap. What else? Uh, I'm going to take off the door handles, take off the mirrors. And just to take these two off, you got to take off the door panel take out the window you gotta take out all sorts of stuff but i'm gonna do it right um i mean you can do it kind of with the mirror on but it's just a lot harder i want it to be as clean as possible uh, i might yeah see i'm gonna pull these off i already pulled the one on the hood pulled the part of the grill on the hood take this one off just as much stuff as I can. Uh, 
let's see but yeah let me show you the wrap that i got and you can see oh bobby it's just plain matte black are you sure about that are you sure about that bam look at that in the sun diamond it's called black diamond black diamond matte so yeah it's gonna be tight you see the reflection dope uh rear bumper is gonna be fun and the front bumper is gonna be fun but hey i'll take you along with with me and haven't done a wrap in about two three years i did a five series 530 came out nice even paradox the wrapper gave me compliments on it i sent him a text he actually answered me back which was real cool man that was cool as heck he gave me props he gave me motivation to do another car so i'm gonna do it but paradox is coming up man he is coming up he's he's badass he does good ass work you should go to his channel i'll put a link down below for paradox but paradox i get all my uh motivation from there because he actually called me back and talked to me and everything so um let's get this all right i already mounted it with the magnets and i stretched it already so now i'm going to stretch it again making vertical lines and then you pull it out that way that's how i learned that's how i was watching so and it is a warm day, kind of. Alright. See if we can stretch this. Ah, it's cold your stuff rips. Easy. Woo! Alright. go and I just pull up on it can't really make any relief cuts with this stuff like I said it rips easy I wonder if I should do the flares I doubt if it sticks to them all right, let's see. And then you want to heat your edges and stuff like that. I'll do that later. I'll start doing some relief cuts soon. There's my neighbor. This stuff creases real easy. heat gun this wrap is not for a beginner like i said i'm i'm kind of a beginner that's why i'm screwing up so this is only my second car wrapping
but yeah this is what it looks like right now it is by far perfect but I'm gonna do the doors and mirrors tomorrow it's getting dark but yeah looks pretty cool you should see it out in the sun it looks real cool all right GoPro died but yeah you'll see the mistakes later out in the sun tomorrow like I said got the uh, this quarter pound came out sweet <laughs> I didn't mess up on this one this one came out good but still uh, I messed up right there messed up right there I uh, ripped it right there but it looks cool in the sun though we'll come back tomorrow when it's sunny like I said sun's going down uh, but yeah I like it it's cool tough wrap to do I gotta do the front bumper, actually, yeah, front, rear bumper, and the two doors tomorrow. Oof. Check it out. Hope it comes out. Should come out. That's cool. Told you look good in the sun. That's cool as hell, man. There's a quarter panel. And I have enough material to redo the back end because I screwed up. You can see streaks right here, and then I ripped it right there. Like I said, I have enough material. I'm gonna redo that. But yeah, this this is cool ass wrap. All right, so yeah, today I'm gonna see if I can finish it. Do the rear bumper, front bumper. I already have all the pieces cut out, and the two doors. Like I said, the two doors. I gotta take out the window, door panel everything since i'm taking off the mirror and if i'm taking off the mirror i'm going to take off the door handle also so it's a process but a it's the wrap process um because i don't know i mean i could probably do it with the mirror on but i don't know if i can make a hole small enough for it to fit and still fit this base so that's why i don't want to risk it i'll just take off the mirror but let's check that out again man that's cool Hell yeah. Isn't that dirty? Yeah, cool. Alright. Alright, let's get into this. Alright, it is the next day. It is complete. Hi. Got my son. Yeah, I got my son with me. Look at that, man. That thing sparkles. And I did redo the back. It's not ripped. Hey, buddy. And that right there, that's Bondo work. That started cracking. But yeah, look at that sparkle before the sun goes away and broke a window when i was putting it back together sucked but happened 65 dollars mistake got it off of ebay get it tomorrow but look at that man all complete all the blacks been redone i still got to install these but yeah man all complete whoa oh he took a spill are you okay yeah yeah you all right yeah okay all right, still got your chicken nuggy though. You didn't drop it. All right. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Eat it all. Ow. All right. Let's get up. Oh, we'll keep on going. All right. Keep on running. All right. Back on the car. <laughs> but yep, it's all complete. All I got to do is the mirrors. But video's already running long, and my wife is not yeah. home, so we'll get a reaction when she gets home. She hasn't seen it. Or anything so we'll get a reaction from her alrighty so until she gets home we're gonna have to wait hey, and here's a look at the rear bumper one piece man one freaking piece didn't come out too bad what are you doing you photo bombing oh, light. here's the I know bright light here's the front bumper all one piece oh, actually did this all in one piece and then I just cut it in there laid it in I just screwed it up right there I would have been right because I did it good over here but yeah I screwed up right there that's like I said it's far away all right now let's get a reaction all right I just got her here she is all right baby brought you out here to show you something that I'm gonna give you for Mother's Day 
Mm-hmm. All right, open them up. Oh my God, are you serious? Oh uh -huh. my God, it's so sparkly. Yeah, you know oh. that you had the Mini Cooper already, but you didn't know I was going to give it to you, huh? No, I didn't, baby. Thank you. And you didn't even know it got wrapped. No, I didn't. Oh my God, this is so freaking cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got my car. <laughs> and it's sparkling. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. This thing came out nice. And then when you come around and the sun doesn't hit it, it looks like a matte black. I love it. So damn cool. Heck yeah. I knew you'd love it. All right. Cool. All right, now she has to drive it. She hasn't even driven it yet. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Whew, sun's in my eyes. I forgot my sunglasses, but hey, that's going to end today's Bobby's Backyard with the happy wife. Talk to you guys later.